Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today, I'm gonna do another DIY video, but this time, it's not just plain DIYs, it's clay DIYs. My favorite kind of DIYs are definitely clay DIYs, and last time, I asked if you wanted an all clay DIY video. You wanted that, so here I am giving it to you. I will link all of the DIYs in the description, so you can check it out as well. You're just gonna dive right in with this first one. I love this one so much, it's so random, but it's just adorable. <laughs> it's just a little sign thing that you can put in with your plants. I love it so much. This next one is from Sculpt. This is definitely one of my to-go-to clay DIY accounts. They're honestly so good and so creative, but this time they're making a fruit bowl. Fruit tray? Fruit bowl? Fruit bowl. And it's just adorable. Honestly, I'm moving out soon. I'm genuinely considering making this for myself because come on. This next one's also so fun. I've seen clay rings before but this person's making a clay necklace and that is so smart i've never thought of that before i love it and what i love the most about DIYs is that you can really make it personal you can really make it to your own liking so you can go so many ways with this and you can make so many different necklaces and this is also a good one to sell this is a very good one to sell and as a gift as well you can do so much with clay it's insane this next one is also made as a gift you can make it as a gift you can also make it for yourself but they're making a brush holder for the paintbrushes and it's just so fun. It looks so good. I've seen many different brush holders made out of clay and you can make them in so many different ways, I believe. I've shown like one or two in my videos, but it's really fun, especially if you paint a lot. This is just really nice because honestly, where will you leave your paintbrushes? A very smart idea. Okay, this I'm definitely gonna do for when I move out. I am gonna make my own coasters, just like this person is doing. She's making her own coasters. I don't think I'm gonna do it like the lemon stuff that she's painting on it but still I love the idea of making your own coasters I think that is so incredibly fun I definitely want to make like different sizes and paint them differently and I am so looking forward to that making your own coasters that is so fun I cannot wait to do that <laughs> okay this next one I've never seen before but I am obsessed I am so obsessed this is a tic-tac-toe thing made out of clay what are you kidding me but the way she makes it it's so pretty and so cutesy and adorable and i cannot this is just the most adorable thing i am so obsessed with this like how do you even come up with this stuff people are so creative i want this i would buy this i would try and make it but i would fail and then i would buy this this next one's fun if you haven't made a lot of things out of clay yet and you want to practice a bit this is a bit of a simpler clay diy yet still very fun and good as room decor so i definitely recommend you doing this and you could also try with painting with this one you could just paint it one simple color but you can also try and paint something fun on it and practice painting that way so you can practice both at the same time if you haven't had a lot of practice with it, I think this would definitely be a good one for me. Now this next one is so interesting because she's using super light foam clay. Now I have never seen this before but it looks so satisfying and so fun to work with honestly. What she's making is also really fun and looks adorable and you can definitely still make this with air dry clay if that's what you have but light foam clay? I've never heard of this. It's flawless. It's so good and it looks like so much fun <laughs> to work with honestly. I need more information. If any of you have information about this, if you've used this before, Please let me know, do you like it? Is it good? Is it easy? Is it easier than normal clay? I'm obsessed. This one's also so fun, especially this account, Hello Claire, is so good. I've shown you many videos of them before. It's just, it's also pretty what they make. It's insane, but I love this one in particular because like I said, I'm moving out and I need an x-ray. I just need an x-ray. I don't want that stupid ugly box in my fridge. So I'm gonna need an x-ray and honestly i love this like you can easily buy something like this but to make it yourself makes it 10 times more fun does it not and more affordable which is also a very big plus also this account jake thomas parker art so good they are so good i've shown you a video of this one before as well just the way they make everything and how they put it all together it's just so well thought it just looks so good plus they always use like these pink blue and green pasta colors and it's just so adorable <laughs> but also the way that they make this like they have kind of two layers one for the bottom and one for the top it's just so well thought 
and it makes it look so good. I would love to make this, but honestly, I think it would be, I think it would be a big fail. I think it would be a very big fail. So, you know, but you can always try. This next one is adorable, honestly. Uh, the way they're making this and the videos, it's so satisfying all together, but still, it looks so fun. It's an avocado and it just, it, I love it so much. And just the way how it fits and just, the little i forgot the word but like where you put the rings in in the middle on top and it's perfect it's again it's just, i love it i especially love when people make things out of clay that have like fruit shapes or that they paint fruit on or something this account is also very good for clay diys it's called crooked get crooked check it out please it's so good this one's kind of a compilation but all of the things that they show in this video oh my god so good kind of small and some things are just for more decoration but i love that the ducks and the woodland mushroom desk friends amazing i definitely want to make those little duck things in the woodland but i don't think it would turn out very great it's also small you have to be precise it doesn't have to look exactly the same way but still it's all rather small and it has to fit perfectly and look well together and it's impressive i like all of the things that they made and it's just a cute compilation inspiration video for you this next one's also from hello claire and is amazing i love this one so much i think it's so fun it's a tray and it looks so good i would just like put this in my kitchen somewhere and just have stuff stuff on it and just be there looking amazing and a little heart detail so good i would definitely paint it differently but that is my personal opinion of course you can go many different ways with this these videos really make me want to make something out of clay wow why was that such a hard set this next one is also from clay moo from the one i showed you before with the soft air dry clay i don't even know this one however does take quite some time i think like you have to make a lot of flowers but you can also just make a few you don't have to do it like this like all of them but if you do this looks amazing this looks awesome and that clay she just mixes white and blue and it turns into light blue how i've really missed out on something here this is so incredible okay this one also definitely shows you can make anything out of clay i love this one you can make a tissue box out of clay a tissue box it does not get crazier than that but i love this idea because i do not like tissue boxes they're not pretty and they're thin and fragile and i don't like them but again to make it yourself makes it so much more fun if you would do all of these your room would be filled <laughs> with clay items there would not be a normal product left in your room it's insane this one's also so fun they're making a frog phone holder now i love frogs and duckies in case you haven't noticed and this is just so fun the way it turns out it's so fun and even the wings it has fairy wings it's a froggy fairy as a phone holder what else could you ask for <laughs> i wonder if it also could go standing up like if you could put your phone standing up in it if you're looking for something just fun and random to make this is it and if you're really creative make different ones make a ducky make a ducky for me <laughs> oh this next one is a mini juice box they're gonna make a mini juice box but the fun thing is that they're using it as like brush holders the paintbrush holder i thought it was decoration at first but then they put the paintbrushes in it but you could that is the fun thing about this you could also use it as decoration you could also use it as like a vase and put a flower in it or something like that oh my god and are we not going to talk about the little flowers the little flowers that they paint on it so good i wish i could paint that well i will get there someday i'm just not there yet and i'm jealous <laughs> i definitely make this for my paint brushes this is my favorite so far for the paint brushes oh, this next one's also really fun it's a diy candle holder the end result oh my goodness i'm kind of sad that they just like made it out of clay but then they didn't show like the painting part it looks fire it looks like something you would buy in a store but i don't know how how they got there how did they do that this next one is also really fun they're making these mushrooms and it just looks really good and i believe they put jewelry in it or something now i don't know if i would personally use this for jewelry i don't know what i would use it for but i do love it a lot and it looks really good and it's just fun to make anyhow if you're going to use it for jewelry or just as decoration in general it just looks so good i love it and the way that they like spray the paint on it like you know some fun detail i like it a lot this next one's my favorite i love duckies and this person's making a ducky in like a little lake 
pond type thing. I'm definitely gonna make this. I am 100% gonna make this i'm obsessed it's again all kind of small but like the way that she oh just puts it together it doesn't seem that hard she makes it look easy and i don't know if it's gonna be easy but i will find out for you because <laughs> this is just so adorable i love little duckies i would definitely just use this as decoration i would just put it somewhere to look at because it's just so adorable i'm obsessed it's my favorite from this video definitely the little huh the little duck i'm obsessed please check everything out that i put in the description these creators are just so talented and so creative their tiktoks are so good so definitely check them out follow them support them like them anyway i hope you like this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to become a part of the family check out my other diy videos and i hope i will see you in my next video